Hi, welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, your home for the crypto neo news, education, and opportunities, and your home for the macro updates. My name is Ryan. My name is Lucas. And speaking of crypto neo, we've been talking a lot about the IBC and the importance of interoperability. And we've got some news to share about, I guess, one of the pioneers and leaders in blockchain interoperability and definitely one of the OG blockchains that uh, I guess it, it's a group that foresaw the problems with bridges and, and bridging different blockchains together. And so that's why the IBC and this blockchain that we're going to mention um, started and, and created this new network. Now, many people have, maybe they haven't, but if you haven't, we'll catch you up right now. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been lost due to bugs, exploits, and hacks because of the fragility of trying to connect two different blockchains. Ethereum to um, name uh, Avalanche or or to something else. So- Axie um, Infinity Bridge was a recent big hack. Right, so the idea is that where there are bridges between different blockchains, you often find um, an opportunity for uh, you know, these exploits, but the beauty of the IBC network, the beauty of the inner blockchain communication is that they are made in the same language. They are made to actually be able to communicate with each other without the need of a, a third party, without the need of a layer two bridge, say a third party, right. but the idea is you don't need to design some special bridge. The blockchains are actually made the way the language, the computing language, the IBC is set up, they are made to be able to validate from one chain to another. And it's- yeah, uh, This is the map of zones. You can see Cosmos is the hub in the center. This is This shows you the direct connections between the other projects and Cosmos. As time goes on, more of these direct connections get made. And uh, But essentially the idea is, is that every one of these blockchains is in direct communication with the with the rest of the of the of this ecosystem, and it's because of the Cosmos Tendermint SDK programming language. It, it makes it where they they are all compatible and interoperable. And this is this kind of foresight in terms of how important this interoperability is becomes more obvious as the value of these hacks you know starts to mount, and you see clearly that that you know solving this problem without a bridge. Uh, doing it natively is is very valuable. It rem removes a lot of risk, and Cosmos is the hub here, right? So that's that's the first thing to, be, to kind of be aware of. of what it, what are we talking about? Why is this valuable? Um, another highlight that this article gets into is uh, as as Terra Luna as those as that debacle un as unwound, a lot of the developers and projects have migrated to other chains in the IBC, whether it's uh, Cosmos directly or Juno or Stargaze or, or Secret Network. There's There's been a lot of migration of this development. And that was probably one of the more valuable parts of the Lunaterra ecosystem. It wasn't just the fact that, uh, you know, Anchor Protocol paid out 20%, but there was a lot of teams. There was NFTs, there was DEXs, there was, you know, there's a lot of projects and they were valuable and had good communities. And so to see that flow to, you know, to the rest of the Cosmos ecosystem, that's, 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 you know, it's something to talk about. It's definitely a big deal. Um, but the other thing that needs to be discussed is this integration of interchain accounts. Uh, we'll link this Twitter uh, status below, but just to get to the, uh, the essence of what's going on here is that a recent upgrade has made has made Cosmos a interchain account blockchain, and what that means is that other blockchains who are connected to the IBC they can launch their their native functionalities, their API, right, right on top of uh, they can launch it without having to create their own validator uh, layer, right? They can use the validators on Cosmos to handle security, to handle the consensus. And and then build their their chain, right? Without ha without having to build that from the ground up, without having to reinvent the wheel, and essentially just use Cosmos as the as the uh, security layer, right? 
And that's so that's what interchain accounts does. It essentially makes it where one blockchain can 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 use the other blockchains uh, validators. So that's a big one. And of course, you can't really you don't really see what's important or what's valuable in, in the IBC until you understand the airdrops, right? And how how airdrops and Cosmos um, have been just, I, I would say revolutionary, right? The, the, the fair drop model, this this idea that, re, you know, participation is rewarded and that, um, you know, as new chains join the IBC, they like to drop their tokens to the people who are staking or providing liquidity on the other more legacy chains. And I know Adam, right? Adam Stakers, it's, it's, a, it's a routine, you know, Adam, Juno, Secret, there's a few chains that it really does seem to pay over time to have, to be staking, to be providing liquidity. And uh, Cosmos Airdrops, we'll leave, we'll leave the link here to this below. Adam uh, is the original and it's from Adam that Osmosis Airdrop came through and Juno and others. So for those who were staking and supporting the network and that's, it's a proof of stake not proof of work. Therefore, everyone who has Adam has the ability to support the network and add security by by staking it. And so you're right. If you scroll through these, you'll notice that where, where it says delegations at the bottom for requirements, you'll notice that Adam is on most in, in many of these. Um, some of them don't, um, like you've seen over there with Secret, has its own um, thriving, uh, growing community with what's happening and, and the shock that we've covered and will continue to cover because not only interoperability, but privacy is huge in blockchain. So we'll continue to, right. to give people the latest and grace on that. But you know, I was also say, what was that article? If you go back to that article um, that you had in the beginning, yes, yes. So something else we've mentioned in the past, we've, we've done a video on this, DYDX, the yep. biggest decentralized change, moving to the Cosmos ecosystem. This is just more showing the value of people under appreciating the IBC ecosystem and operability and, and that language. And of course, we've talked about liquid staking, and you just mentioned the interchain security. So it's the uh, it's it is these are the developments that are really showing the the growth the maturity and the value um, building over in the Cosmos ecosystem. But didn't mean to go ahead and show the- no, um... Not at all. <laughs> you know, I do believe there's even one more thing to mention. Uh, we have a stable coin that is in the works. I, it's, I don't think it's out yet, but it's going to be on Atom. It's going to be backed. I'm sorry, it's on Cosmos. It's for the Cosmos, but it's backed by Atom. And we're talking about IST inner protocol. We, uh, you know, as we learn more about it, we'll we'll share it. I just wanted to drop that that little tidbit in that there is a stablecoin with with uh, Adam as a collateral backing that we're uh, excited to talk about. You know, there's there's a lot of these new stablecoins that are coming out with different kinds of tokenomics. Uh, Shade and Silk on Secret is is one that comes to mind. And I think on Juno, there's one as well. We'll do a deep dive. We'll, so we'll do a whole video. Dive on we'll do a whole video on on Inner Protocol uh, yep. because it is interesting. It's like when airplanes for you know or any other you know um, invention first came about, you see what works and what doesn't work, and so you try to tweak it and add this and fix this. Yep. And, and we're seeing a major response to uh, previous stable coins that did not do so well, and there are stable coins that have done well continuously. So learn from those that are successful and from those that aren't the same way. And where are you going to go if you want to learn about this stuff? Well, um, follow us, <laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs> follow us, like, subscribe. Of course, none of this is commercial advice, legal advice, financial advice, marital advice, medical advice. It's just research and education. We're sharing this information. And if you like to stay up to date on the latest going on with not just macro updates in the economy and how it may impact the long run and or short run of the blockchain crypto markets, we also d dive deep into where the innovation is happening in blockchain and crypto so that you can have a better understanding when you make those decisions for yourself. Is that about covered? Yeah, that's right. Well, well uh, until next time, we'll see you on the other side. Namaste, y'all. Thank you.